All right, guys. Today I've got my second wrist mafia watch, so we'll see. No idea what kind it is, but we'll see. Remember, these are about thirty-five dollars. So, time craft. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's you know, it's what it is, but it's kind of nice. Nice leather strap. Minecraft Weekender. All right, let's see if I can find a video about this guy. Hey guys, so before we go any further, I think it's probably appropriate that we address a few things before I finish, before I really start this review. Now, um, this is a Watch Mafia uh, watch, and I signed up for six months. I had a special deal, and I think I got something like 30% off. So in total, my total cost to me on this, for this watch, and I'll put the price up there, um, all the details, was about $35. Uh, that was shipped everything now understand of course that um, it would be I think probably irresponsible of me to judge this watch by say a watch that was more expensive right so you guys know that I'm also doing watch gang which I like um, I've done um, some of their premiere and also their black and uh, Watch Mafia, Wrist Mafia, uh, attempts to sort of kind of fill that um, that uh, role that is currently also offered by uh, Watch Gang's original tier. Now, these watches are all going to be low-cost watches, and so it needs to be understood, of course, that that is what you're getting. Uh, this watch... With these, pretty much every single one of these watches is going to be made in China. Um, they are going to be, uh, they're going to have a Chinese movement in them, and they are going to be fairly basic watches. There's a couple that uh, some people have gotten that are um, kind of a little more unique, like a chronograph and what have you, but these are, these are generally going to be nice looking watches that uh, kind of meet a series of requirements. It's a nice leather strap. Uh, it's a nice looking watch and that's really all you can expect uh, and that's all you should expect right so don't if for anyone is considering uh, wrist mafia and is debating whether or not they should do it um, don't go into it expecting that you're going to get something that's like a high quality Rolex because just like watch gang wrist mafia does their due diligence in making sure that these watches are um, good quality watches but at an extremely affordable price. And that's what this range is. Now, this one is made by Timecraft, uh, and there's really not much to it. It is a very simple um, three-hand watch uh, with second. And I'll put pictures of the movement up there. I haven't opened it yet, but of course I will, and I'll, I'll add pictures. But my guess is that it is probably a Sunon uh, watch movement. I'm going to check the back. I don't really see, it doesn't really see anything there, but I suspect there's probably a Sunon movement, at best maybe a PC32A, but I suspect probably a, a Chinese movement, and that's okay. Um, I kind of, I, I have to say, like, this is my second watch from, from Riss Moffitt, and I do really like this look, sort of the black anodized look. I think it really adds... Um, some styling class to a market segment that is um, rather inexpensive. So, of course, this is just standard mineral crystal, um, and it is thin at that. You can kind of hear it. So if you drop this, it would crack. Um, but, you know, that's what it is. Oh, let me get a, uh, a rag. So just don't drop it. 
but um, it's a good watch to, th this would be a good watch to wear with a suit um, uh, or just around town. Again, I don't know how long these would last. It's a very nice uh, leather strap. I'm not gonna say it's high quality, but it is, uh, um, it's nice looking, uh, it has a good feel to it. I suppose if you started to wear this, um, the watch would probably last maybe a couple months. Um, my biggest complaint is always this, the same one I had with the last time. These, they, they easily just come off, and I won't do what I should in the other video, but you, I could just pull this right off. Um, and uh, that's one of the problems I think that often happens with watches like this, because this isn't my first rodeo with, uh, with inexpensive watches. I used to go to bazaars, and and pay 20 bucks for a watch <laughs> that that was what i did the last the last nice watch i had was a um god what was it a uh a wenger um sack watch and it needed a bunch of stuff and that's actually what ended up getting me into working on watches but i was always just buying cheap 20 dollars watches and i'd wear them for six months and toss them but i didn't think anything of it right uh, but the face is nice, and I'll I'll try and do a zoom in picture so you guys can kind of see. There's a tachyometer around there. I don't know how useful that necessarily would be. I don't know when that's going to time with this. Uh, but this is their their weekender. Um, it is it is nice. But uh, there's not. I mean, there's there's really not much said to say about it. So I'll just get right into the. We'll get right into the the measurements. Good case size. Well, pretty standard. I'm going to say 42. Yep, 42. I'm going to say 22 here. 22. And I'm going to say this is probably about 12. No, not even 10. Okay. Lug to lug. About 45. So not bad. Uh, I will put this one up for sale, and I'll put it up for the same price that I paid um, I'm more interested in kind of seeing if there's anything that comes up that I'm particularly interested in. It's a nice watch, but I don't want to, um, let's see, 42.2 grams, so not bad. And I don't think there's any loom on this either. But let's, I mean, I don't see any, let's see if anything lights up. No, no one whatsoever. All right, and uh, I don't think there's any water resistance either on this. Yep, no water resistance. So that's that simple crown. I mean, I don't even think it's it's what it is. But good, nice, all-around watch. If it's something you're interested in, I'm probably going to put it up for 25 maybe 30 bucks, A little bit less than what I paid. Um, but it's nice. All right, um, let me know what you think about uh, Watch Mafia. Uh, I, again, I just have to be really careful how I how I review these because my inclination is to stack it up with something like an Ingersoll or a Citizen, and you know, that just isn't fair. Um, these are very entry-level watches. It'd be something like a nice quality watch that you'd find at a bazaar or a flea market. Uh, I'm just being honest, that's, that's what it is, and uh, I think it's good. Um, it's about what it's worth. So, all right. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more like this or others. All right, thanks.